can't imagine how much I appreciate you dying to me like this. My reputation's going to soar. Imagine the opportunities. Oh, I'm going to be busy indeed. What the hell happened to the Nemesis system? As a matter of fact, whatever happened to the Wonder Woman game? You guys have never heard of this. I mean, very few people have, so I'm not surprised in the slightest, in case you had no idea. So the Nemesis system is a system that's very unique to the Middle Earth game. Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor, I think is what it's called. I don't know. Either way, very unique system that is not replicated in any other game. As a matter of fact, a couple of years ago, after Shadow of War, or maybe it might have been during that game's development, Warner Brothers came out and put a patent specifically on that system, so that way no game can come remotely close to what that system does and what that system does is it's very unique in the sense that every character you come across has its own personality its own name its own traits its strengths its weaknesses there's a hierarchy in the game so whenever you take out captains or war chiefs they are then replaced by other orcs or uruks or whatever the fuck you call them and likewise that orc has its own name its own personality its own strengths weaknesses sometimes if a normal orc kills you, it gets promoted to become a captain, becomes stronger, has his own strengths and weaknesses, and then just like that, continues to go through the hierarchy. On top of that, these orcs remember every time you fought them, whether if you died or you killed them, sometimes they come back with scars, wounds, some type of bandages, sometimes they lose their mind and they're not able to speak. You know, it's completely random and it adds so many possibilities to your gameplay that basically every single person's experience with the nemesis system is incredibly unique, which inherently gives a massive amount of playability because you never know what type of orc you're going to come across what type of strengths or weaknesses it has or whether if you're going to win or lose this fight and whether if next time you see them if you lost that fight they're going to mock you and talk shit about you basically getting your ass whooped last time and it's going to happen again I can't imagine how much i appreciate you dying to me like ah, curse you or maybe you are cursed is that why you return <sighs> Naturally, just hearing how it works, it's a very valuable system. Unfortunately for us and everybody else, Warner Brothers immediately recognized the value of the system and decided to patent it, meaning only them and the developers they own can potentially use it in their games. Which is unfortunate because something like the Nemesis system can be pretty much applied to damn near anything. And any game that naturally is going to have it is going to have an incredibly long, extensive life that's going to continue to keep on giving. But I digress, like I was saying. Warner Brothers was using this to create a Wonder Woman game. And the development team behind that is the same team behind these Middle Earth games. Now just kind of looking at the difference between Mordor versus Shadow of War, the system is much more extensive. Some people prefer the simplicity of Mordor versus Shadow of War's system because you do end up coming across orcs that uh, ultimately become a pain in the fucking ass because they refuse to die and just the simplicity and quote-unquote replayability that the first one has sometimes you know just appeals to a different type of audience at least it seems like that but either way the system's great it was expanded upon from first to second game the only real question well there's two ultimately that lies ahead is how is it going to be applied to a Wonder Woman game and how much bigger is the system really going to be monolith and Warner Brothers themselves have clearly noticed how great the system is how much people recognize and appreciate it and whenever we're talking about a great sequel it's always giving people more of what they loved of the original doubling down on you know that that specific trait that brings people in you kind of want to apologize i jumped the gun a little bit there's no confirmation that the nemesis system is actually even going to return in this wonder woman game the only hint that we have about that potentially coming back is earlier this year the narrative director behind this game, Tony Elias, posted a new job offering, and within that job offering description, it did mention procedural content as well as procedural conversations and procedural dialogue, all things that are inherent to the Nemesis system, so that kind of just allures to it returning. There's no confirmation, but considering that this system being as innovative and as really great as it can be to any type of game, considering all the amount of replayability that it has to bring to the table by itself, it hasn't been used since Shadow of war warner brothers has the rights no other game company can really use it without their permission so it would make sense for it to be returning in the wonder woman game considering how they expanded on it from mordor to shadow of war with new traits new personalities you know being able to change the possibility of orcs surviving betraying you coming back to life you know constantly being able to remember you come back with different types of scars or injuries some type of recoveries they can really 
blow this out of the water, especially since it's going to be getting this whole new cosmetic feel since we're not dealing with Lord of the Rings lore anymore, but rather Wonder Woman. But the system itself is something that I think has been sorely missed in video games. You know, Shadow War came out back in, what, I believe 2017, so we're looking at at least, what, like five, six years since we've seen this. And without the Wonder Woman game even implementing it, that would just basically mean that Warner Brothers patented this thing and they're just letting it wither and die behind the scenes, which I think is ultimately the biggest tragedy of them all. You owe a debt now, Ranger. I expected to be paid in full. <laughs> 